Welcome to 22722 Studios, where we discover less taxing ways to help you create character animations in Blender. This video is a guide on exporting animations from DAS Studios to Blender using the Rig GNS add-on. Rig GNS add-on is a Blender add-on for rigging Genesis figures from DAS in Blender and animating them with animations from Mixamo or DAS Studio. Currently, I have the smart content being selected and I'm in the products tab. I have already gone ahead and select the Genesis 8 product. Now I'm going to load a Genesis 8 figure by double clicking it. Now I'm going to go to wardrobe and add a basic clothing to the figure. Now I will come to the parameters pane and then come down to mesh resolution. I'm going to switch the resolution level from high resolution to base. I will do the same for the rest of the items here. Since this is just a demonstration, I will just go ahead and export the figure without adding hair or any additional accessory. Now I'm going to select file, then export. I will create a folder, call it rig GNS tutorial. Double click to open it. I will name this file Genesis 8 female. Remember to change the save type to Autodex FBX and then click save. Now, in the export settings, you can see I have selected as well as figures checked. Here in the output options, always have this option as binary and then make sure collect textures to folder is checked, match clothing into figure skeleton, allow degraded skinning and also allow degraded scaling are all checked. Now, I'll go ahead and click accept and then switch to Blender. I'm going to press N on the keyboard for the properties panel where you'll find the rig genus panel if you have it installed. The version I have here is version 3.4. So now to import the figure into the scene, I'll simply click this large import genesis button here, then go to the folder where I have it saved to, and then simply click import genesis figure. All right, now I'm going to press period on the numpad to focus on the figure. I will then expand the rig figure panel here and go through with the rigging sequence by clicking add meta rig, then match rig, then generate rig. This will take some seconds. Now I'm going to click rig figure. All right, so now we have the figure fully rigged. Let me quickly demonstrate that. So here is the hand IK bone. I can move this around. Let me enable some of the face bones, move the lips, open the mouth. I like to use the gizmo to move the bones. I also prefer having the orientation as normal. We can also call the fingers and so on. All right. Now let's animate this figure with animations from DAS Studios. So going back to DAS, in the Smart Contents pane, I will select the Animations tab here. All right. So this here is a DAS animation. I will double click to load that to the figure. Now I'm going to come over to this tab where it says Pose and Animate because that's where the timeline is. Here is the main timeline. And here is another timeline which is called Animate Light. This is where you will find animations added to the figure which is right here. Now I'm just going to bake the animation to the main timeline by clicking on an empty spot on this bar and then click bake to studio keyframes and then click yes. Once that is done, you will see a green and blue bar appears down here. Now I'm going to switch to the timeline. These are the keyframes here. And since I'm working with 24 frames per second in Blender, I'm going to also change the FPS here to 24. This shortens the length of the animation. It can really save us some rendering time if you plan on rendering the animation. All right, now I'm going to make sure the figure is selected and then I'll go to file and then export. I'm going to call this dancing. For animations, you always want to have the save type as BioVision BVH. Now I'll simply click save and then hit accept without altering these settings. All right, so now I'm going to go back to Blender. To import the animation, I will of course return to the rig GNS panel. I'm going to collapse these panels 
and then expand the animation panel. Here are the import buttons. There are two of them. The one with the Mixamo logo is for importing animation from Mixamo and the other one which has the DAS logo is of course for importing animations from DAS. So I will go ahead and click that of DAS, locate the folder again, select the dancing animation we just exported from DAS and then click import DAS BVH. Once the animation is imported, you'll find the amateur in the scene. When I hit play, we can preview the dancing animation. Now I'm going to come over here in the animations tab and click bind. Now when I hit play, we shall see the figure copying the animation. Let me quickly change the viewport shading to texture. One interesting thing we can do with this add-on is adjust the animation of some of the bones in this list. To do that, simply select the bone in the list and then click the adjust button and then drag up or down. When satisfied with the animation, you can just simply come over here and pick the animation. Once the animation is picked, you're going to have it added to your list of actions. So now I'm going to rename it to dancing. Always remember to rename your animations after baking it. The animation can be disabled after baking it by clicking the remove button here. And the reset button here resets the figure back to its original pose. If you're enjoying this video so far, Kindly give it a thumbs up, it really helps my channel and I really appreciate it so much. Now let's import another Genesis figure into the scene. But first, I'm going to select this rig and then press G to move it to the side and that's to make room for the next Genesis figure. Now I'll go back to DAS. With the figure selected in the scene pane, I'm going to right click and then delete the Genesis figure. Now I'm going to load a Genesis 3 figure this time around. I'm going to also add some clothing to the figure and also reduce the resolution level as we did for the last figure. I will now go to File, Export. Remember to change the save type to Autodex FBX. I will name this Genesis 3 Female and then Save. And then finally click Export with the same settings as before. All right, let's go back to Blender again. Expand this first tab, then select Import Genesis button. Select Genesis 3 female here and then Import. I'm going to expand the Rig Figure tab and go through the rigging sequence once again. Okay, so while this is processing, I'm going to go back to DAS to quickly export an animation for this figure. I'm going to load this progressive work animation, then go to Animate Light. Here's the animation. I will right click on an empty spot, select back to studio keyframes, and then yes. I will go to the timeline, change the FPS to 24 frames, and now I'm going to export the file. I'm going to change the save type to BVH file, and then call these working, and then click save. All right, back in Blender, I'm going to import the file by clicking on the DAS icon and then select Working. Once imported into the scene, I will click the Bind button to bind the animation to the active rig. Now I will play the animation. We can import the same animation again and bind it to the other rig. You always want to have the target rig as the active selection before clicking bind. The animation can be removed by clicking on the remove button here. The rig Genesis add-on is compatible with Genesis 8.1 figures, Genesis 8 figures, and also Genesis 3 figures. The add-on recognizes animations from all these figures, including animations from Genesis 2 figures. So back in DAS, I'm going to load a Genesis 2 figure to prove this to you. There's no need to add clothing or any other accessories because we just need the animation. 
I'm going to go ahead and load this animation. The length of the animation can be reduced here. I'm going to reduce this to 150 frames and then export it. Now I'll switch back to Blender, import to the animation, select the target rig, and then click Bind. We can also have the animation on the second rig by importing the animation again, and binding it to the active rig. You can see now we have a dance synchronization. Please remember that binding animation to the figure does not mean it's baked to the figure. So you want to always bake animations you are happy with. And after baking the animation, you can use the adjust position button here to adjust the rig's position within the scene without moving the root bone unnecessarily by simply clicking and dragging around to place the rig in a preferred position. This is especially useful when you are working with several animations where in one animation, the figure walks away from the center of the world and in the next animation that follows, the character is back to the center. With the adjust position button, the figure can easily be moved to the point where the last animation ended so that the animation continues from one animation into the next seamlessly. If you would like to learn more on using the rig GNS add-on or how to animate multiple figures in the same scene using several animations from Mixamo or Dart Studios, I actually did a video on that and there's a link to that in the description. I have also placed a link to where you can get the rig GNS add-on or the user guide where you can learn more about it. Please feel free to leave your thoughts, questions, or suggestions in the comment section. I really hope you found this video helpful and I hope you'll consider using the add-on for your project. If you would like to see more videos like this, including tips and tutorials on character animations and modeling, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon.